Advocates for San Diego's Muslim community are calling attention to a rise in hate crimes. This comes after the Council on American Islamic Relations reported a resurgence of anti-Muslim hate this year. CBS 8's Regina Yurita has more details. Yeah, guys, and I'm going to speak a little low just because that meeting is going on as we speak. I'm going to step out of, step out of the picture here to show you guys what's going on. But we are at the CARE SD offices here. We have advocates speaking. And today, local Muslim advocates are gathering here to address the rise in anti-Muslim incidents taking place in San Diego County. So in this office, we have community advocates, students. Right now, this is a student speaking, parents. Uh, there's also representatives from the American Islamic Re Relations. Many of them are extremely concerned with the amount of bullying and cyberbullying that is happening against Muslims. Muslim Americans living here in San Diego. Many advocates say it's gotten even worse since October 7th and the issues happening in the Middle East. We just talked to a woman named Julie Shannon who says her 15 year old sister is being bullied at school. We're not going to say her younger sister's name because of safety concerns, uh, but Shannon tells me the bullying has gotten so bad that her younger sister has come home crying, even questioning her identity and beliefs. Take a listen to what she told us. To see someone and her peers that she grew up with since kindergarten come up to her and say, I don't want to sit next to you, you're a terrorist, is absolutely traumatizing. And so that was in a very emotional interview from uh, Julie Shannon, her sister. She's 15 years old, still in high school. Uh, right now, what we've heard from this meeting is that there has been 8,000, over 8,000 incidents nationwide relating to uh, anti-Islamic incidents. Uh, but here in San Diego, there has been a 300% rise. So you can just tell how bad it's getting. That's why they're here addressing the issue, hopefully hoping that they're is a chance for some change and some action to really address it. For now, that's latest here in Kearney Mesa. I'm Regina Yurita, CBS 8.